What's good everyone and welcome to the live stream tonight guys we're going to be doing some football manager and we've got Villa in the Champions League so it's going to be some interesting um, situations that's going to be happening just bear with me one second guys as we start the stream what's good I'm just going to make sure everybody's in or anyone that wants to be in so yeah so how it's going to work is guys we've got Aston Villa in the Champions League. Um, it's a save I've been doing uh, for a bit. And yeah, it's going to be good. Just bear with me. So let's get the game loaded up. So basically, I'm um, Aston Villa. Uh, I think it's the second season. So. It's the second season, as you can see, we're in September 2022. Let's um, bring up the Premier League table. We're sixth at the minute, guys, so it's actually the third season now. I just realised that. It's the third season now, guys. Um, Aston Villa is sixth at the minute. We've got six games played, 11 points. Not doing too bad, I can say so myself. Um, I'll get the bigger table up so you can have a look. So yeah, you can see we're sixth in the table, not doing too bad. Um, make sure the comments are on, so if anyone does comment, I can see. If you have just joined, make sure you do leave a comment so I know you're here, so I can have a good old chat with you. It'll be a good old thing to have a good old chat. But anyway, I digress, let's get on to this. So as I was explaining, we're sixth in the league at the minute. Uh, last season, we finished in the top four um, with Aston Villa. Initially, I started this save with Blackburn. And uh, Blackburn sacked me. Villa job came up. They was in the relegation. Took them over. Kept them up. Then next season finished in the top four. And yeah, we've been doing really good since then. Um, we're in the Champions League, as you're about to see. Um, we're starting our first Champions League game today against Copenhagen. Um, actually, look at the group. We've got such a hard group. It's unreal. We've got Bayern Munich. Napoli and Copenhagen, so I'm hoping that we can at least finish third in the table and, and you know, be alright in, in the Europa League. But you know, we'll go, we'll go as we can and do what we can. Um, I'll bring in up the transfers, um, show you the ins and outs and stuff. So, as you can actually see, here, this is it. So this season we spent 170 million and we made 80 million. Um, but most of these have actually been signed with instalments. So like you pay now, pay later kind of thing um, as well. Um, Alberto Moreno, he's no longer here. So I don't know why he's there. I don't know if that loan's still going on to be honest. Uh, but we bought, bought in um, Tanini. 31 million. Um, he was actually he come up recommended to me from his agents. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Mentz is not here anymore. Or well, his loan deal should be ending soon. Got Frimpong on loan. Good signing. Rafinha for 60 million. But I've only spent I think 20 million up front. And the next 30 million will be paid over so many years. Declan Rice again. He was on the transfer list. 59 million. Not paid all that up front though. No. You know guys if you know him. Uh, uh, football manager, you know I always sign this guy. Hello Liam mate, you alright buddy? Um, bring him in on loan and then we brought the left back from Fulham in. Um, normally he plays for Celtic. You can see all the outgoings that we've had there. It is what it is. Um, but if I can show you... So these are the ones that I inherited. And as you can see, I bought in Adam Armstrong from Blackburn. This is the squad that we have at the minute. As you can see, the loan signings I was telling you about are no longer there. We have Eze, who we bought in last season, but I'm looking to sell him. At the minute, he's not been... Basically, can't sell him, so it's, it's hard. But it's a decent little side. It's not too big, but we've got some decent players in there. Let me just get through all these emails. Messages, should I say? Let's get through them really quick. Um, 
Yeah, so we're going to be playing our first Champions League game. Um, it's starting this season, but as you can see, we've done really well. Sixth place so far. Let's see if I can bring up last season's. So this was last season, as you can see. I'll show you from the start. So this was the first season. Uh, when Blackburn sacked me, I went to Villa. They were around this position. I got them to 13th. Decent, decent, you know. Then the next season, the one we just finished, we finished in top four. I mean, that's pretty decent. Look at that record. 21 wins, six defeats. I mean, that's not bad. Um, 80 goals as well. Second highest goal return in the league. Defence, yeah, we had to work on that. Should have worked on that. Uh, should have done better with it in the end. But this is what was crucial. Man City had a really bad season. And Man United dropped out as well. Last game of the season, we actually got in the top four. So that's pretty cool. If you look at Tottenham down here, that was poor from them. They were in the relegation zone. They got out on the last game of the season. Beat West Ham. I mean, West Ham couldn't relegate Tottenham. That would have been amazing, but it never happened. But yeah, so you've seen other things. I've catched you up, got you up to date. Let's get into the Champions League game. Such a tough game though. In between the two Champions League games, we have Leicester. That's the only thing I would say I'm worried about is our squad's not big enough. For, for all the competitions that we're going to be in, but you know, we'll, we'll do as much as we can. I mean, we've got to win this game to stand a chance. Ollie Watkins scored mega goals last season. He's got loads, so he has to be in there. So if he is, um, where's Jack Greenish? It's tough, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with what he said. I'm gonna put him in there as so a concert. Has not been playing well, so I'm going to retreat back to my old formation as you can see. Players like playing it, so let's get into the first game. Hopefully, we can get a big win in the first game. To the league. Champions League lads, big game, let's give them some encouragement. Could do with Bayern and Napoli getting a point, drawing against each other and us winning. Give us some kind of like momentum going forward. Poorly there. Wins it back well though, come on. Over the top, that's it, Watkins. And that's how we scored a lot of our goals last season. Absolute superb, Ollie Watkins, son. Absolutely superb. Balls over the top, Watkins in behind. That's how we scored a lot of our goals last season. Go on, Jonesy. Absolute revelation signing again. Frimpong, look at him. Oh, nice little playback, Watkins, Jones. Oh, that's a poor ball by Jones. But we're all over him at the minute, they can't handle it. That's a poor pass, we're gonna go again. That's nice, whip it in, whip it in. Oh, lovely casual, too casual. Oh, it's in at the back post. Oh, it's offside, it won't can. It won't can. Goal disallowed, Watkins apparently was offside in the build-up. 
They're dominating this game now, look. They can't even get anything, so I'm just going to praise the lads. Jones to Flimpong. Whip it in, Flimpong. Come on, whip it in. Oh, brilliant, brilliant play again. Absolute superb play again by the lads. Oh, they've got the ball back here. Greenish. Luis. Flimpong. Whip it in. Jones. Whip it in, Flim. Greenish. Two now. Come on. Nice by Jones, back out to target. Louise, Rice! Oh, Deccan! Well done, Deccan, son! Superb! Absolute superb stuff there. Half time, 3 0. We could actually make some changes here for the Leicester game. So we're going to bring on Rafinha for Greenish because he only just come back from an injury. Armstrong for Watkins. Um, we're we'll bringing on Eze for. Hmm, we'll, we'll give Rice a break. We get any injuries, we'll just play with 10 men. I mean, I don't care. We're winning 3 0. So, we've got this, lads. We've got this, lads. Lads, lads, lads. Well, Basuma's gone to Napoli looking at that. We're going to make it 4. Oh, Rafinha! Could have made it four lads. Oh no, we go Copenhagen. Are they gonna get a chance here? Emiliano. Tackle him. Mings gets it clear. Jones flicks it on. Adam Armstrong to perform better. Oh brilliant. Cool car cool calm and collected by the Bayern Munich centre back there. Oh, that's bad. Emiliano. Emiliano scores. And here we go. Former Brentford player, that. It's going to demand more from the boys. Letting them back in the game. That was poor. We shouldn't have conceded that goal. We've got to win both these games against Copenhagen. And target at least one win against Napoli. And as I say, that Napoli have gone 2 1 up against Bayern Munich. So maybe Napoli's going to be the harder game out of them too. But I'm worried about our boys here because we're struggling. It seems like we've just gone to sleep. Copenhagen might even get back in this. Oh, fucking hell, lads. I've gone cautious, man. I'm firing them up. Rafinha bursts away with his pace for days. And then the highlight cuts out. Classic. Lovely job, Blake. Lovely job. There you go. Oh, come on, you lads. There was, I was going to say, there was no uh, first game nerves in the Champions League for the boys, but after going 3 0 up in the second half, they decided to nearly give it away, you know, so you can say there was a little bit. There was a little bit. But here we go now, back to the Prem. Leicester away from home, and then we travel away to Bayern Munich. You know, it's going to be hard. We're going to have to try and get a point out of there in Germany, in Munich. But we have to focus on the first game first, and that's Leicester away. Not the same Leicester revolt, you know. They're not got Vardy up front anymore. So we have to, you know, be prepared for a different kind of Leicester. Yeah, interesting note, Blackburn um, stayed up after I left them. Um, we were like, we were about here, and then they sacked me. Then the next season, they barely stayed up. Frank Lampard back in the kept on up. And now this season, he's doing a little bit better with them. It's always, I'm always interested to see what kind of players they bring in and, and how they do when I leave my former clubs. So look at this, they brought in that French guy. I'm surprised at that sign. 
tough to, to progress in the Champions League and perform to the level that the boys did in the Premier last season. Yeah. For our squad anyway, it's going to be hard. But, you know, if we can get a point against Leicester and then a point or a win against Bayern Munich, I'll take that. So, yeah, let's be careful of what we do here. So we're going to go positive, get them in, tackle harder, and then I'll pick the team. So Rafinha is going to come back in for Jones. Armstrong is going to start up front. So Watkins can have a little bit of a break. Uh, I have Tony. I'll leave Watkins out. Let him rest. Cash can play us to the front pole. Versage can play us to the target. Not target, sorry. Eze can start instead of Greenwich. That's the team I'm going to go with. So with all our big boys ready for Bayern Munich. Keeping the midfield three the same. So that's the core midfield. Um, and hopefully it's enough to get us the three points. I mean, it's a good enough team. It's a team that should go out and get us to a game and, and hopefully get the three points. But you never know in football. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. We're giving up possession. So I need to get the boys fired up. We're starting to get the possession back now, but we've not had any chances really. Cash to Ruiz, back to Cash. Cash goes back to the keeper, Martinez. Mings, Martinez again, over the top. Long ball. Rafinha plays it through for Armstrong. There we go! Should have been a goal. Good play, good play. Good play, good play. Here come Leicester now. Justin for Barnes. Edit away. McGregor. Ricardo on the right hand side. Oh, it's a decent block. But it's not cleared. It's Justin. Mings gets it away again. And it's the end of our lights. If we can get the win, we're going top four. Because Arsenal still got a game in hand. But they are beating Liverpool at the minute. say to the boys here let's put our hands on our hips and say the way the game is set you can go back out in the second half and play without pressure I'm definitely not saying that uh, we're not doing bad at all if everyone continues to work hard we'll win this no I don't mind that either let's pump fists this is a great opportunity to show all the pundits that they have been right to back you up oh, let's do that Let's do that then, let's do that then, you slag. Come on, whip it in, whip it in. Ooh. Come on, Eze. I know you're on the transfer list. Show me that I should put you on there. Show me I should take you up. Oh, fucking hell. I'm going to drive you out of in a minute. Rafinha's having a bad game. Armstrong's having a bad game. Let me demand more from Rafinha. Demand more from Armstrong. Free kick here for Leicester. I don't like this. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! I'm gonna have to make some subs here. I think after this highlight, it's gonna be substitution time. Louise can't get there. It's Harvey Barnes, and it's a goal for Leicester. It's been coming. We've now got to go attacking. We've been poor in this second half. We've been poor in general in this game. Uh, yeah, we've, we've got what we've deserved, really. I'm going to bring Ivan Tony on for Armstrong. Jones for Rafinha and Greenish for Eze. And let's just hope the boys can turn it around. I had to prioritise the Bayern Munich game. I had to. I couldn't afford to go in with injuries. Let's just go very attacking now, lads. Praise the boys. I meant to say demand more, but I've clicked on praise anyway. We're always going to lose this game, I think. It's a tough game. There's a chance here, though, if we can get the ball away. No, we can see the second. Fafana. 
we have to go again. We have to dust ourselves off and go again. I'm not going to be doing this a lot where I rest players on the Prem to play Champions League. I'm probably doing it a lot. I did it this time. I knew it because I, I wanted to go into it knowing that we had a full strength squad to play with. Um, I didn't want to risk getting any injuries. But we've got Bayern Munich, then we've got a great rest. We've got three days between that and Burnley at home. So I'll go strong in the Burnley game. And then we'll see what happens afterwards. I mean, we're not out of anything yet. And it's still early on in the season. But we'll just keep going. We'll keep going. Dust ourselves off and try again. Aston Villa's, Aston Villa's owner has sensationally quashed reports of a potential takeover at the club. Speculation has mounted in recent days and it talked of a deal being under discussion, but that no longer appears to be the case, leaving the immediate future rather uncertain. I always hate when they do that sort of shit, man. Just like, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. West Ham about Hannibal. He's on loan for Man United. That might be a lad I'll bring in next season, you know. Possibly on low. Depends about European football. Again. Imagine if I win the Champions League. Just imagine if we win the Champions League, lads. Lads, lads, lads. So my reputation's gone up. You'd think in Villa in the Champions League, they'd put me as least like a favourite person. I'm not even on there. <coughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, he's only out for a day, he's fine. Martinez is only out for a day. Should be out of play against Bayern Munich. We haven't got a good backup goalkeeper. I chose not to bring one in. I'll let them pick the team and I'll sort it out if I need to. So Greenish is not. So this is where it's already messed up. Um, he's, he's playing poor, that's why they're dropping him out of the team. But they've got an understanding, that's why I need him in. Do I risk dropping Declan Rice? To get Mayer in team now that he's back fit. Put Declan in defence. There you go. You see the link that these three have got. This is going to have to be the team. Moving forward. So this is what we're going to go with today against Bayern Munich. I'm not going to go overly defensive. I don't think we need to. Um, we're, we're at way, but you know, on our day, you know, we can turn them up, turn up, and turn them over. I think. Just gotta try and hold on as long as we can. Get get to half time. Oh my boys, don't concede this early. Martinez, safe hands, Martinez, safe hands. Let's encourage. <clears throat> Pardon me guys, let's encourage. Different levels, look the levels of it, look at Bayern Munich's football. Don't come up against this very often in the Prem. Oh no, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on us. No, 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 no. Good save by Martinez again. We're holding on early on here. I might have to change this from positive to cautious. Oh no. No, Lewandowski! It was coming. It was coming. I didn't get the cautious changed in quick enough. We go again. We go again. This was always going to be a tough game. Always going to be a tough game. Could do it for a Copperhagen getting sank against. 
lovely. Yeah, I was allowed to start a play here now. Look at this, brilliant. Oh, that was poor, that was fucking poor. Bayern Munich's team are just too good. Good tackler by Luis Conky mold of it. And it's in again, it's Lewandowski again, 2-0. 18 minutes in, 19 minutes in, Lewandowski's got two. It's what you worry about, you know? It's what you worry about. Mings to target. Can we get a goal back? Grealish chasing down, but he's not going to hold it. Kicks it off the line there. But Bayern Munich are just so calm. They're in, they're in again here, watch. Two minutes later, Hernandez. Lewandowski just runs through people like he doesn't even matter. Flint Pong at least gets an header to it. But they're in again. It's Muller, it's free. Oh, he's offside, he's offside. You know, I'm, I'm gonna just go positive because at the end of the day, we're gonna get smashed either way. So I'm going positive, demand more from the boys, and hopefully we can push on up. Push on up, you gotta push on up. I said, you gotta push on up. You gotta push on up. I said, you gotta push on up. Well done, Mings. Jones on it. Now it's the breakaway. Two against two. It's Jones. Still going, Jones. Watkins. Ollie Watkins. Reese Ricochet. Look at it. We've gone to Bayern Munich, literal Villa, and took the score. Took the score, we've scored. Oh no, we've given a free kick away, no. Not when we just got back in. Oh, we just got back in the game. Oh. We had hope for about 20 seconds, lads. Gutted, absolute gutted. Football's nice. Can we get anything from it? Can we try and get a lifeline here? Jones. Marjorie's at the post. Unlucky. We're all in our own. We're all in our own now, lads. And then the keeper takes it. Tough. It's a tough, tough, and uh, it's a learning curve for the boys. But we're, we're doing all right. We're on our own. We're playing football. I've been disappointed with Grealish. She's been poor. And here they go. They're breaking away. It's Lewandowski. Nobody can stop him. It's Sane. It's still Sane, and that's a poor shot by Sane. We can get a goal back, you know, there's no reason why we can't try and get a point out of this. Martinez boots it upfield, it's a poor goal kick because nobody from Villa even attended to try and get the ball. But we've won it back and then we'll give it away again. I thought that was a chance when we hit Tin there. I think the key is for Champions League, maybe have Rice in midfield and drop to Nali out because... From looking at this game, he has been weak. He has been a weak link in the midfield. Brilliant, absolute brilliant. You've got to applaud it. It's a hat trick from Lewandowski. And he adds Villa to the list of people that he scores loads of goals against. you got to just applaud it at the end of the day. It's Bayern Munich, mate. Villa going to Bayern Munich. Our defence and keepers not up to that level. Doing well going forward. Look at this. Grealish. Oh, unlucky son. Unlucky. Can we get a goal back here? The corner comes in. Watkins at the back post is clear away. Grealish. Means. I'm back. That's it. Don't worry. Brilliant little run there by target. Means. Luis. Let's get it away. Take your time, Means. Take your time, Means. Oh. And then you make a rush challenge in the box as well, Mings. Absolute horror show there by fucking Mings. Dodgy little shit. 
Poor mate. Fucking wins. Poor. Tyrone wins. Lewandowski's fourth goal. Uh, it's getting embarrassing now. Well, it's not embarrassing, but it's getting it's getting to that point now where you're just like, do you want to go on? You know. Target. I don't think he's up to the level either. Looking at this, can Watkins do something? Can we get at least one more goal back? Ollie Watkins is doing superb there. Maja, brilliant lads. I'm praising Ollie Watkins because he did absolute superb there. And Maja, you can get one as well. I don't even know if that's how you say his name, but yeah. I can't fault your effort. Nobody expected us to win this game anyway. I'm going to say that to him because at the end of the day, it's true. The Bayern Munich were up for it at the end of the day. And they deserve their win. But Napoli, that, that's the one I was targeting to win, especially at home. So if we can get Sank out of that Napoli game at home, get the win, then when we go to Napoli, try and get a point, and then we're, we've done it. So, it is what it is. We have to keep going. We have to. We have to keep going. We have to get the win. Three points is all that matters. We're tempting the league at the minute, so we have to up it. I believe I'm still in the Carabao Cup. Or did I go, we go out of that? No, we went through. We don't play, we're playing Man United on the ten, uh, 6th of October. Because we're both involved in Europe. We already beat Man United once this year, but never at home again, so. So there's the quarter final. If we get past Man United, we get Stoke or Arsenal. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go far in that cup, to be honest. I don't think we'll get past Man United at Old Trafford. Mings is injured. To be honest with you, he would have played in this game, I was going to drop him for the Napoli game because he was a shit show in that Bayern Munich game. Unfortunately, there's, there's levels to the game and uh, Mings is not up to that level. But it's fine, Concert will slip in now. We'll go attacking. Let's have a look, let's have a look at this team. So Tony's gonna start instead of Watkins. We need Watkins against Napoli. Rafinha's definitely in. Curtis Jones can play. Manager, no, see, Jones and Manager are not playing. Because their fitness is weak. So Armstrong can play on the left. so badly by Bayern Munich I have to rest a few players I can't risk it especially with that it says that fitness is a concern I just hope Ivan Tony can pop up with a, with a goal Burnley is starting off on the attack though another Fafana for them a lovely boy at wide Taylor on the left hand side Whips it in, it's a brilliant ball when Duncan arrives with an header and it's a goal. And Burnley have took the lead 
and we are struggling. We're at that crossroads, you know, where it's like, do I play my team in the Champions League or do I play my team in the Prem? There's Burnley on the attack again, we can't get the ball back in the minute. We get it back now, can we do same? McGinn with a long ball over the top, Ivan Tony just didn't even bother running for it. Burnley again moving forward, but we can't get hold of the ball at the minute. We get it back here now, it's Armstrong. Slow it down if you need it, he makes a nice little run, he's still going, it's still Armstrong, still. And I think that was blocked for a corner, wasn't it? No, it was a poor shot by freaking Armstrong. It's Demar Moore, boys. At the minute, it's a, it's a poor, poor game. Poor, poor game. And we're struggling to create anything decent and do anything decent in the game. I'm going to throw a water bottle. Occasionally, I like throwing a water bottle. And I think we should have thrown a water bottle there because they need to up it. And now we're going to encourage them. We need to get a goal back. Need to get a goal back in this game. It's not going to even get a goal. We've had two shots on target. It's been poor. Let's bring on Ollie Watkins. Try and get back in it. Don't want to bring these two on. Really don't. So I'm just going to leave it. Chance of the game here, Armstrong. So shit. So shit. Last season we we're playing such at a high level. Ronnie Watkins was scoring goals for fun. Everyone was on the same wavelength. It's a nice ball from Ronnie Watkins is in. Oh, and it's a brilliant defensive block. You see what I mean about the ball over the top for Watkins. Rafinha whips in the corner. Brilliant and a by Ollie Watkins again! The saviour! Ollie Watkins is the saviour of this club! Let's go again! Let's go again, lads! We've snatched a point from the jaws of defeat. Say something, I'm giving up on you. So that, that music, background music reminded me of then. Right, so we've got the Napoli game, which is the biggest game of the season so far. And probably will be the biggest game of the season. Because if we can beat Napoli, if we beat Napoli, we go above them in the, in, in the group. Napoli are actually... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Napoli lost to Copenhagen. So this, this game now becomes an even bigger game. Because if we... Bayern Munich are going to win, and if we win, we go three points clear in Napoli. This is a massive game now. This is why I said to you, the Napoli game is the one I'm thinking about. Out of Napoli and Bayern Munich, that we could get the win in. So we could get through the group. It all comes down to this game. We beat Napoli, and then when we go out to Napoli, if we get the point there, Beat Copenhagen again, we're through. Because they're not gonna make not gonna be able to make three points up on us. Yeah, Mings is out now for three weeks. Tony's been taken ill. So it looks like Cons is gonna get a start in the champs in the Champions League. <sighs> You know, I would actually be alright with Copenhagen getting second against Bayern Munich because then if we can beat Napoli, it just keeps everyone on the same sort of pedestal. I like the way that team looks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put Lasagna in for Grille and for Rice. Rice there, and he really shot the ring. Let's swap Rice and Jones around. There you go. Target, you were poor in the last game, so you're not starting. Um, yeah, I'm 
might be all that team. Let's go, lads. It's a big game. It's a big game. We know what's on it. We need to get the win. I don't care how we do. Just get the win, boys. First highlight. Will it go to us? Ball over the top. Blocked. Napoli now can come forward a bit. Again, cut out, but Napoli get it back. Some nice ball in between. Cut out by Conza. Well done, son. Brilliant reading of the game. Nice football here by Villa. The triangle in midfield is absolutely crucial. Grealish now on the left hand side. Grealish. What are you going to do, Grealish? Love move. Rice! Oh, at the top of the wall. Brilliant football by us here. That's the sort of football we can do. Everyone's drawing at the minute. Everyone's on four points. Declan Rice for Jones. Jones. Still going, Jones. Still going, Jones. Goes down! You think he dived? I think he dived, but the referee's give a penalty. VAR's going to check this. This goes in sense. He believes it was a dive. Jones looked like he went down way before him, but the penalty's been given. And it's Curtis Jones to take it. Big moments in Villa season here. Curtis Jones. Goal for Villa! Come on, the lads! Brilliant. Crucial moment in this season. 1-0 up against Napoli, and we're top of the group. We are top of the group, say we are top of the group. We are top of the group, say we are top of the group. I don't know how long for, but we are top of the group, so we're going to take, take whatever we can get. Could we make it two here? Oh, it went past Watkins, and now Napoli are on the breakaway. You've got to try and hack him down. You can't do it now. You can't hack him down now, but he's just running rings around everyone, and that's just poor defending. Poor defending, and this guy makes up for giving the penalty away. But he run around rings around the rings. From our free kick as well, it's a poor defending moment there. Brilliant end of that, Greenish poor. They're starting to dictate the play in midfield here. It's Minamino. Oh, hey. Take one one at half time. Bayern Munich still drawing, everyone's on four points. Can we nick it before half time here? More oh, flimpong, pong, whip it in, son. Brilliant! British! Come on, lads! Brilliant, I'm liking it, I'm really liking it. We're saving all our form for the champions. For the Champions League. Can we go all the way? And win the Champions League, and win the Champions League. Oh, Villa, Villa, oh, we'll win the Champions League. Copenhagen are beating Bayern Munich. That is crazy. The Bayern Munich have leveled now, but it just shows you how hard it is to go to Copenhagen, you know? Let's give McGinn a run out. Oh shit, don't concede, don't concede! Offside! Hey! Offside, offside! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Let's go. Very defensive. Demand ball from the players. Just see the game out. Just see the game out, boys. Let's get Eze on. It's, oh, it's over, it don't matter. What a win for the Villas! For the Villas boys, top of the group now, absolutely top of the group. Bayern Munich could only draw in Copenhagen, and that's a big, big, big turn up for the box. Wow, wow. Ninth in the Prem, one win away technically from Europe position, so I'm not really worried about that at the moment. Oh god, Champions League though is looking amazing. Let's have a just look at our group. I don't go back to our group. Fixtures and results. Schedule. So we've 
we've got Napoli next in Napoli, where we've got to try and get saved from that game. We then go to Copenhagen, which we've got to try. The next two games, if we can win the next two games, we're through. If we can get four points out of the next two games, I think that'll put us through anyway. And then we finish up against Bayern Munich at home. So, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but we've got six points out of the first three games. And I think that's amazing for us. We come back down to Earth now. We go to Palace in the zone. <laughs> you know, it's... it's And then we put Man United in the Carabao Cup. I think I might just um, sacrifice that cup because we, I know if we win, we're in the quarterfinals against Arsenal and then we've got Stoke and then one more win that could put us in the semis. But it's just too many games and I just I can't risk it. I can't, I can't risk it. Well, then again, I could play a weak team here and then play a good team in that game. Roses are red. I'm gonna make Villa come on through. Villa gonna score, never give it up. Villa gonna do it, we're in the gonna win the cup. Yeah. Think about it, you are slow. It's a tight group, but as I said, we're back in the Prem now, so... Let's pick a fully rotated team. Oh, target can play. good team out against Man United in the cup. Because even if we lose this, we're not out of anything in the Prem. There's still a long way to go in the Prem. But that's a good enough team to go to Palace and get the win. Like a 50-50 game. Rafinha. On the edge of the box, what a save! But Villa's goalkeeper is good, so that explains the good save. Mitchell Cash gets it away, but they're coming back at us again, and now they're in, they're in, they're in, it's Lanzini, it's 1 0. Former West Ham man. in again and it's now a penalty penalty's been given to Palace I think we've got to stop playing these weak teams in the front because we're losing games that we shouldn't be losing and there you go it's 2-0 2-0 to Palace the boys have really got up here in this second half of the game Highlight straight from kickoff here. And again, it's Armstrong out wide again. Oh, well, there you go, that's a brilliant ball. Target keeps it in. It's like literally a corner now. Brilliant again, target. Target. Rafinha. Eze. Out wide for cash. We recycled the ball really well here. Rafinha blocked and that's going to be it. If that's the best we can come up with, it is just shockingly poor. Look at some of the ratings, 63, that's uh, 6.3, 6.4, 6.4. has a. we're starting to get a bit more of the ball now. Get a goal before half time, changes everything boys, come on. 
again. Lovely, lovely. Tony! Brilliant football. Brilliant, brilliant football. Absolute superb. Let's get that ball. Encourage the boys. Because that was a brilliant goal. Can we get two back for half time? Rafinha. Ivan Tony gives the ball away, but we're going to recruit it here. Recycle a ball. Target, turn around. Nice. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. That's nice. Rafinha, Eze, Rafinha. Brilliant ball again. He's been brilliant in this game. Cash. Armstrong should have scored. Armstrong, mate, you're letting yourself down, bro. Keep playing the way you are. Come on, come on boys, everyone knows we're much better than this. I expect to see better in the second half. Let's, let's demand more. Come on, get back in this. Block it from Landini. No, 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 no. Cleared it away. Cleared it away. Even if we lose, we're not that off, far off, so... We're very attacking, demand more. And let's make some subs. Get Watkins on for Armstrong. Grealish on for McGinn. And Curtis Jones can come off for Rafinha. Let's see if we can change it, at least get a point out of the game. Can we at least scrap one chance? Can we get one chance in this game? Based on the stats, it's a, it's a draw all day long. We couldn't get another chance. We couldn't get another good chance and we lose the game. And the lads that I keep putting out all this faith in, you know, that they should get something out of it, they just don't turn up every time. Looks like Frank Lampard's doing his magic at Blackman. Is he gonna turn him around? <laughs> so we've got Man United next. Then we go to Everton and then we have Napoli. Big game against Man United before players go away on internationals. Can we get the win? Get us into the quarterfinals. Don't know who we're going to be playing. Chelsea just knocked out Man City. Man City are poor, mate. They're, 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 they've been poor. So could get Stoke. That'd be a great win. Get Stoke. We'll go with the team that he's picked. Why not? See if that brings any changes. The only change I probably would have made was get Grealish out on the wing, but other than that, I'll... see what he does in midfield, mate. I mean, we've gone with a. I said that's the. Uh, you say that that's the full strong team. Villa, 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 Villa. Tony, 
target. Jones. Let's keep the ball out. Rice. Louise. Greenwood, lovely tackle, but we kept the ball. So, oh, it's lovely. Watkins. Ollie Watkins, and that time he didn't get the shot off properly. But we've recouped it, we've got it back. And the eyelet finishes. You see the difference straight away when we're playing Watkins up top. When we get Watkins up top, it's like craziness. It's just craziness. Just craziness. Oh, I'm chasing down. I don't expect to get anything out of this game. Man United is just look, 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 look. Just too good. We've not played bad at all, but we've not played overly good. Don't deserve it at the minute, but it is what it is. Should have been 2 now. Let's push on and go attack in and demand more. Coach Jones is having a bad game. Alright, let's get a goal to start the second half. Come on, boys. Come on, Louise. Come back if you need. Nice little pass that. Greenish, do something. Luis, go back, that's it. Fine. Martinez, do something with it. Consa, Rice, lovely football here. Watkins, lovely football again. Grealish, lovely. Jones, find the right pass. Oh, it's a penalty. He's actually giving it. That was brilliant football there by the boys. Whether or not they actually will stand because they could var it off, but we'll have a look. No, the penalty's been awarded, and it's going to be Curtis Jones again with the penalty kick. Hopefully he goes to De Gea's right and scores. No, he goes to the left and scores. De Gea went the way I said. Brilliant penalty by Curtis Jones, and it's 1-1. We are back in this game. This game is not over. And that piece of footling class that we were playing before that penalty was immense. And Curtis Jones just like that has turned his game around. And we're up to it at Man United. Unfortunately, I've been off the ball. Unfortunately, sorry. Remember, if it goes 90 minutes and it's finished, it will straight to penalty kicks with a Carolina Cup. And it looks like that's where it could be heading. Unless there's going to be a late highlight here. There is. We've got the ball, but whether or not we'll get that highlight, I don't know. Rafinha, Luis, what a pass that is. Flimpong, Greenish. Oh, it's flicked on Jones, is it? Target, Luis. Luis again. Get out wide, you silly prick. Oh, fucking hell. It looks like it's going to be the dreaded penalty shootout for the boys. Yep, it's out of penalties. Chris Jones not even that good at penalties. But anyway, we're going to go for penalties. I'm going to say penalties are a lottery, what will be, will be. Martial stepping up from Mary United. Come on Martinez, big boy save. Big boy save Martinez, big boy save. Curtis Jones already scored a penalty in the normal 90 minutes. Can he get a goal in a penalty shoot out? He can, same way he went in the game, that he went the wrong way. Man, we saw in Europa League how bad the area is at saving penalties, so that's the case here. Come on Martinez. Brilliant save by Martinez! Now if this is like real life, the is not going to save one and I'm going to win. Put Martin out. Top, top, draw, player! Brilliant penalty. You don't save goals. you got Bay, Bay now stepping up. It's Bailey! Brilliant penalty, Martinez. Went the right way but couldn't get near it. Come on Rafinha, you've not done anything for it since your big signing from Leeds. Do something now. Score it! Brilliant penalty. We've got De Jong, if Martinez can pull a big boy save off here, it'd be great. Good penny by De Jong. Score this, Jack Grealish, score this son, puts the pressure right on Man United. It's Jack Grealish. You saw De Gea move before the penalty and you knew he was going to save it. And that's it. Now it's Van Der Beek for Man United. If he scores, he's missed it. 
It was going to put the pressure on us, but they've missed it. And now the penalty comes down to Villa. If we score, we are through to the quarterfinals. And I don't even, didn't even see the score of who we'll be playing. But it's Douglas Luiz who can smash a ball when he wants to. And I'm hoping he smashes this in the back of the net. He does! Villa are through! We are through! Fucking I did! <laughs> We've battered United loads of times. We got them out of the Champions League last year, beat them to it, and then we've gone there now and beat them at Old Trafford again. We've beat them already on it in the season. We've got Arsenal now. We've done great. We have done absolutely great. So now we have loads of a week's rest, a week's of training before we go up against Everton who have had a great start to the season, the second and we're gonna go there and try and get the win as well as having, oh that's a big blow, Rafinha, four to five weeks out, this is the problem, we haven't got the biggest squad so when we start getting injuries like this, oh, we've got the Napoli game after Everton as well. But I'm uncomfortable. We can go, I'm confident we can go to Arsenal. We can get the win in that Carabao Cup and get to the semi-final. Oh god! Everton's a big game. The second in the league. I guarantee we'll probably win that. Even if I put my shitty team out, we'll still win it. But no, we've got three games, three days, sorry, break between the, Nap the Everton and the Napping game. So I'm going to put out a strong team. If we get injuries, we get injuries. There's not a lot we can do. We've got to rebuild in January and then, and then get some filler players, I guess. Another injury, mate. Another injury. It's just, it's just. What's the point, mate? How long was he out for? Hopefully, it's just a few days. Six to eight days. Six to eight days. So he might be back for the Napoli game, but he's definitely out of the Everton game. What I'm going to do is I'll let the assistant manager pick this game. No, pick the team for this, sorry. And then make some changes to it if I think I need to. But it's going to be a tough game. So work ball into the box. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that team, to be fair. I want to get manager in it, though. Let's give Bryce a break because he's on a yellow card anyway because no yellow card he misses the game against Arsenal and we don't want that. That's a pretty strong team that we're putting out. I'm actually alright with that. We just don't want to get no injuries um, with the Napoli game coming up. So we, we want to get a win and no injuries. A win and no fucking injuries. Come on boys. Let's do me old encouraging because we're going to score in. Oh, just the wrong one again. Look at that, brilliant, I'm going to praise them. I told you we were going to score, didn't I? 15 seconds into the game. That's Ollie Watkins' 50th league career goal for Aston Villa. Surefire way of putting yourself into the Villa Hall of Fame. It's brilliant game, brilliant goal from Ollie Watkins. And this win here will bring us right back into the top part of the league, this. Take it easy, that's it. Nice little football, nice little play. Watkins lays it off for Jones. Frim Pong whips it back in, it's hit the back and it's Maja! 2-0! This is the sort of things that we do at Villa. We time, we do our things right, and we work hard. And it's superb play. Can we make it 3-0? Frim Pong, Maja, Frim Pong, still Frim Pong. It is 3 now, it's Jones! Everton have gone to pieces here! Or was it an own goal? I don't know, but I'm taking it. Jones with the credit. Absolutely.
absolutely annihilating them. We're going here for four now. Luis, Fring Pong. Luis, Madja. Oh, Always give it away, that's not like him. I think this is where everyone can get the goal back. I knew that was going to happen. See, when you don't normally give the ball away, he gives the ball away. Straight to another highlight from the kickoff as well, which is worrying. But Greenish has got it. Greenish! Oh, the keeper's made a really weird save. And it makes me realise that it's not a surprise when I see that it's Jordan Pickford. Grimpong does really well there. Lovely by Jones. Still Jones. Oh, you've got to come across goal, man. You can't go for that near post from that angle. You just cut it back across goal, and hopefully one of your lads can get a touch on it. So kicking it near post, you've got absolutely, absolutely no chance. Oh no, Everton, no. Fuck off, Everton, no. Wow, 3 2. Wow. This is why Everton are up there. They have played a few games extra, though, to be honest. What a, what a free what a corner routine that was. We'll give it away here. And Everton, oh, I thought Everton was going to break away. This has been a crazy half. How can you go 3 0 up and then it go 3 2 before half time? Before full half time, man. It's a fucking West Ham Arsenal game, this, but in real life. Right, come on, we need a fourth. No, okay, take a touch, whip it in again. That wide, that's it. Brilliant. Finish it, Jones. Brilliant. Absolute superb football. And that now should be enough. That should be enough to see us over the line and get the win now. So they've just killed off the game now. Just killed off the game. Let's just make some subs, get the best players off. Tony for Watkins. Armstrong for Greenish and let's bring on Cash for Jones. They're not going to get two goals in 20 minutes. They're not going to do it. And as I say that, they're a like, fucking highlight. Fucking hell. Lads, make the tackle. That's it, Armstrong. What a run! Go on, son. Keep going. Oh, I love it. What a run that was, though. Took the pressure off us so much there. But this is what we were like last season. Villa, twenty shots a game we were having. That sort of form. It's going to be a tight end to this game. We try to clear it away. It's hit the Roby and gone in. Now it's going to be nervy as hell. I've got to try and get us very defensive quickly. Oh, fuck. Cash gets it away. Ivan Tony for Cash. Let's get it to the fucking corner flag. Flimpong. How this game has been like this when we've been so dominant at times. Oh, just keep it in the corner flag, son. Oh, what a goal by Adam Armstrong. Absolute superb, even though we're very defensive. That's definitely sealed it now. I can breathe, I can relax, and I can know that we've got the win. Ooh, I told you we'd be fucking Everton. Defence, though. Defence needs a definitely good looking at. But now we go into that Napoli game knowing that a point or more I believe could see it for us because I know we're going to get another win against Copenhagen.
It's a tough time Ever I saw your face such a big game that's the team I'm going to go with we need to get the win and going to Napoli is not easy at all they beat Bayern Munich there and yeah it's going to be tough if we can get the early goal though if we can get the early goal though I've got faith that we can turn it around uh, turn around hold on me Copenhagen are beating Bayern Munich in Munich. This is insane. Grealish from that New York mate. I'll take it as it stands right now because I've got Copenhagen next. That win, then we'll, if I beat Copenhagen next with the way the results are, I will then be through. So I'll definitely take that. I'll definitely take it out of things are at the minute. Oh, mate, this is big. Armstrong scored in that last game, so he could do do a job here. Come on, Adam Armstrong. You normally do well in saves. Turn up now. Turn up now when we need you, mate. Copenhagen still winning in, in Berlin. Napoli trying to get a goal here. They work it well, but it's cleared away. Watkins has it. Can Villa actually even get the win here? That's a bad foul. No, this might have won the ball there. Napoli. Give the ball away. It's Jones. Oh, what a crucial moment in the Champions League. Fucking season. Watkins has it on the left. He gives it away. If Napoli now go on and score. They're going away again. Watkins. Jones. Oh. They kept giving the ball away, and we kept on pressure on her. Oh, lads, you just got to defend it out now. Oh, oh. Just go home if you need. Go home if you need. Watkins, that's it, game. Game. We've done it. We've come to Napoli. Introducing 11th gen and we've done them. Core processors. Instantly we have photos, done them. Stream billions of colors. Thanks to the world's best we processors. Have done them. We have done them, lads. Lads, 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 lads. We can, oh, we've hold on. As I said, we can never just get a clean sheet. We've held on to it there. Bayern Munich are still losing in Munich to Copenhagen. This is insane scenes. It stays the way it is. I think a point, literally a point in the last two games, will get us there. 
and I don't think we're gonna lose here. I'm sure, ten points will be enough. Goes over the senior, but he gives them away. There's no offside. Got to tell the boys to focus now. This is a big ten minutes. Oh no! Jones, why would you play that ball? Why would you play that ball? Six minutes max left. Just keep the ball. Waste time like you're doing. Oh, what's he done? Oh, it's a corner. That they're gonna throw everything at this. Done well there. So now throw. I think that might be it. I think that might be it. And by the way, it's still in Berlin. We've done it! We have fucking done it! Fucking done it, lads. What a victory that is. Literally, Napoli can now only get 9 points, Bayern Munich can only get 10 points. So I think a point against one of these two teams will do it. Realistically, we need another win, but I think a point will do it. What a what what a season! What a save! What better of immense. Change the team completely. That's a nice ball for Watkins, but holding gives on it. Re recoup here. Watkins now. That's, a, that's the only thing with Watkins, he just sits stall sometimes. When he's just on the shoulder of the defender, he does so well. There's 1 0. It's 
it's 1 0. I said it would be 1 0. It's a penalty, so it's the same thing. Ah, oh, lads. The referee has to run to the, sem to the line and then walk down the line to the have a look at the AR. I don't think it was a penalty, but you know, it's going to be so. Right, big moment in the game. Can Martinez save against his former club? He does! And he holds on to it as well. What a catch. Big moment. Absolutely big moment. And that could be the freaking turning point. We've got a corner there. Eze should have scored. Should have been 1 0 to Villa. Curtis Jones coming across soon. The hour mark. Jones going to come off at the hour mark. Cash put it in. Decent delivery. Watkins. Oh my god, he was offside anyway. But that was the moment. That was the moment. Are they going to nick it at half time? No, over the bar. It's going to be 0 0 at half time here. Big uh, second half coming up. Curtis Jones, I'm going to take off and out at the hour mark. Hopefully we can be 1 0 up at that point, but you never know because. But as I say, Watkins, what was that? Oh, he was offside. He was offside anyway there, Watkins. The referee's played on anyway. Arsenal going to score because of that. Looks like it. Better in. Still better in. Back post, Ed and Wyatt for Thomas Partey. Let's now make them subs. Let's make them subs. I'm going to bring on Armstrong for Watkins. I'm going to bring on Tony for Jones and then put Armstrong out wide. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put Tony and Armstrong up front and put Eze in behind. Just play a dime in midfield. And then I'm going to bring on the Gin. No, I'm not going to bring on Ponsa for me because he's got a yellow card. That's what we're going to do. See so if the change of formation can bring any kind of luck in this game. I'd say a draw is probably a fair result in a minute. Maybe Arsenal can nick it based on the stats, but I'll take point. It's going to be a highlight here and it's going to be for Arsenal. No, it's not. We'll cut it out. And then that kick there. What the fuck is that? All the people left by intercepted and then gave it away. But we won it back again. This is the moment. It's Armstrong. Can he do anything? What a run this is! Oh, he's at the fucking bar! Adam Armstrong, man. Well done. Take a bow. Unlucky. Cash again, been superb. Should put out his rate and shit, but I thought he'd been alright in this game. Again, Cash wins the ball again. Armstrong, can you do anything, lad? Based on the ratings, our players are going pretty shit, but oh, no, not at the last kick of the game, not like this. Saka is punch clear, we can't keep hold of it. Brilliant save by Martinez, but it was offside anyway. It was offside anyway. But they're coming forward again. That's surely offside as well, wasn't it? That's a goal kick. So what was the point of this highlight? Tony, Cash, Luis, no, Luis, Ryan, Tony, Eze. One of them ones that's just gonna play the game out. Just play the game out, lads. Matty Cash, go on, son. Go on. Oh. That's it. We'll take the draw, we we'll take the point. Big big games this week, so we'll take, we'll take the point. 
we go now, we go to Denmark, go to Copenhagen, we get the win. We're into the uh, knockout stages of the Champions League. Now, when you saw the group, you had, who would expect that? So you can't be too down and dance about it. Big game, this. This is a big game. Napoli and Bayern Munich draw again, then a point will be enough. And this is what I'm saying. But if we lose and Bayern Munich win, then we have to beat Bayern Munich. Man City went to Bournemouth and smashed them 7 1. They're having a better season this year. into the group that uh, to the knockout stages of the Champions League. I'm playing early as well so if we can get the win here they're gonna be up for this club they're gonna inform at the minute. And there you go they need squad so we've got to run there. At the minute puts us on ten points so if Bayern Munich drop points we have done it. So that's all I'm hoping for that Napoli and Bayern Munich draw. And we can get at least a point here, because then we're done it. Whereas if Bayern Munich win, then Copenhagen have to beat Napoli. And then we have to lose to Bayern Munich for them two to go through. So this is a big game. We're not guaranteed through yet. We're in the driving seat, but we're not through yet. We're on top in this game in a minute, and if we keep it up, we can come away with a, with a good win, or even a good point, because we've beaten Napoli twice, and this is what I was talking about. Let's tell the lads to focus. Be a highlight here. I'm not sure who it's for. We have the ball in a minute. It's a nice ball for Grealish. He's in. Grealish! Oh, that could have been it. That goal would have put us through. And then against Bayern Munich, I'm going to put a, a, a lesser team out. So it's Frimpong. Rice. Nice little ball for Jones. Back post Grealish. That's it. That's the goal that's done it. That's we've qualified for the knockout stages of the Champions League with that goal. Surely. Surely. Cannot be caught now. If this result stays the same. Okay, about 10 minutes left. We've, we've done it. Rice has come off injured. So as long as we see how this game, we've qualified. Ollie Watkins is going through a bit of a bad run of form at the minute. Copenhagen are going to try and stop us here. Yarmolenko of former West Ham plays the ball across and they've got it. They've got the goal. It's actually offside. It's offside. It is offside, guys. As long as VAR do not overrule it, we have we have done it. It's disallowed. We have won the game and we are now through to the knockout stages of the Champions League, top of the group. There's no way you would have thought this at the beginning. Oh, I cannot believe it. Wow. I wonder if Napoli or Bayern Munich won. That's the crucial moment now. Let's have a look at the group to see what happened. 
card is still not technically played yet. Bayern Munich won 2 1 against Napoli. So Napoli are out. Napoli are out. And it goes to the last game of the season. Either Bayern Munich or Copenhagen are going through. And one of them, whoever doesn't go through, will fall into the Europa League. We're through, we're top. There's no stopping that. We can play either Porto or watching Glad back. Uh, Atletico Madrid, PSG, Dortmund, Real Madrid or Ajax, uh, Lisbon or Salzburg, Sporting or Shakhtar or, or Juventus. Interesting. It is interesting. Very, very Scared the shit out of me. People are in fireworks. So yeah, that then fireworks, you know, they would have let off because we got through in the Champions League. So yeah, they had to give me a big praise there for getting Villa into the next round of the Champions League. So thank you everyone for the fireworks. Thank you very much. For the congratulations. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. You know what, we've got the World Cup coming up as well because it's 2022 isn't it, it's in Qatar so we stop season at some point. I'm just going to go with the team that they've picked mainly because of what they've said, uh, injuries and whatever else. What I'm going to do is put Armstrong in instead of Watkins because Watkins has been out of form for a little bit but Armstrong has been performing alright so we'll give him a go we'll get to Chelsea at home you know, you never know what can happen let's see what happens need to win decent football that right? Brilliant, Armstrong, what a decision that was for me from playing him, we've got the goal for it, brilliant manager, brilliant manager mine there, James, Neves, Gomez, Shah, Neves, Kante, James, still James, and still... Keep the ball, lads. Don't stress. See it. Armstrong, brilliant, Jones. Armstrong again. We've got him running all in Dilly and Dally and then White. Corner from Greenish. Headed away. It's going to be Chelsea with Hudson Adoy. Still Hudson Adoy. Gives it away. We give it back to them. They've had nothing in this game so far, Chelsea, and if we let them back into it, it's going to be annoying. Like this, fuck's sake. 
Who the hell is Salamakas? Who the hell is Salamakas? Who the hell is Salamakas? We could technically stop by Munich going through, which is good keeping them out of the later stages, but. It's another blow, another injury, mate. That's what I'm saying. The squad's not big enough for these injuries. Werner's in, and Werner's not scored. They're having another go, it's Kante! That was a good save by Martinez. and he's going for the rebound but he's offside I'll take it though if that's the last highlight of the game I think it may just be it is up the villa up the villa we're winning these games now that you would think we won't win Chelsea are on a bad season we're on a real bad season we've got Luis out four weeks target out Actually, it's not that bad because the World Cup will start. So I think after the City game, the World Cup's going to start.
have a little check in to see how Blackbird are doing. Medio, medio clear, just a bit the same, you know, them falling in and out of playoffs. Oh, fuck Armstrong's that. I was gonna, I was gonna try and be defensive again. It might, I might still do it with Tony, but it won't, it's not the same, it's just not the same, it's just not the same, oh my god I think Real Madrid are out, I think that means Real Madrid are out of the Champions League, I'll just have a little look at it now, yes Real Madrid are out of the Champions League, Barcelona the Club Rouge, so I could get Club Rouge. Schalke, uh, Juventus and Schalke, so I could get Schalke. Man United and Leipzig, I could get Leipzig. Arsenal and Ajax, I could get Ajax. Real Madrid are out, so that's good. Borussia Dortmund and PSG, and I do not want to get PSG. Liverpool and Atletico Madrid, I do not want Atletico Madrid. Good chance I'm gonna get one of them big, uh, not getting them big teams, but knowing my luck, I'll oh, end up getting them big teams. This is annoying, isn't it? Yeah, it's annoying. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play five at the back. Bring Jones into the midfield. That's the team I'm gonna play. Rice is not gonna play, he's not gonna play. So ultimately what I can do is I can hold him off. Because ultimately if Pope Hagen win, they're through anyway, so I'm through, so it gives me a chance to mess about with this formation. I think Bayern Munich are going to thump us again. Green is doing a dive in it at her for no reason. But if Real Madrid and Bayern Munich go out of the Champions League, that's big. That is big. Real, real big. Run through the whole team on that side. Copenhagen are beating Napoli. Bayern Munich have to win. And I still don't think that'll be a chance. And they've just given away a penalty. I think that is a penalty. I'm sure that is a penalty. If this penalty is given, Bayern Munich are going out of the Champions League. Copenhagen are already winning in Napoli. It's no penalty. It's no penalty, they've got away with it. But it's a free kick in a dangerous area. Can we still score from it? No. Copenhagen are winning in Napoli. It's the same man that scored and beat Bayern Munich in Bayern Munich. Villa just defending out the game. They've already thrown. So it doesn't matter what happens to Villa today. Frimpong on the right hand side. Jack Grealish. Frimpong again. Curtis Jones! Oh, hey, by Curtis Jones! And Villa are winning against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich are now going out of the Champions League for sure. Unless a miracle happens, Bayern Munich are out of the Champions League. Sonny! Brilliant save by Martinez from the Villa! 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 Go on Tony, go on Tony, yes! Give me the talkings, give me the talkings, give me the talkings! 
turn back Watkins, turn back Watkins. It's corner, no, it's offside, Watkins offside. It's a brilliant, brilliant save this. We finish top of the Champions League group by five points. If we win this, it is insane. It is insane. Bayern Munich have to win this game and hope Napoli get a point because of the head-to-head. -head. They're going out. They're trying to do all they can, but I just don't see it happening. They're coming forward here with Kimmich. Pavled. Still Pavled. Is he back to the back post? Oh, it's Solid with the shot. But Martinez with the save. Bayern Munich again trying to get something out of this game. Lewandowski can't. And you just gotta start to think it's not Bayern Munich's day. Even if they turn it around, it don't matter to Villa, they're through top of the group. But the head to head record for Bayern Munich's worse than Copenhagen. Tony. It's 2 0, it's Ivan Tony against Bayern Munich. Which puts the final now in the coffin of Bayern Munich and they are out of the Champions League. <laughs> oh, Napoli have equalised against Copenhagen. It's now 2 2. It was 2 0 Copenhagen, but Napoli have brought it back to 2 2. Bayern Munich can't. And Napoli are now beating Copenhagen. So if Bayern Munich would have turned up here, they would have done it. But they're out. Villa have demolished the so-called tough group. Wow. That's insane, guys. Six games played, five wins, one loss. 12 goals, 8 against, 15 points. Bayern Munich went out. So I could even get uh, Mutri Club back, Flair Country, PSG, Ajax, Leipzig, Shakhtar, or Club Bruges. I want Club Bruges. If anyone's listening, please give me Club Bruges. Please. Yeah, we've got Man City game and then that's it, it'll be in the World Cup. So what I'm going to do guys is I'll play that game against Man City and then I'll end the stream for there. I think, I think I'll end the stream there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jump, 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 fight, fight. The good thing is though, because of this World Cup, they're all going to come back by the time we start playing games again. you got to think the big clubs are going to be trying to get me now, don't you? I'm going to try and lock down another contract, get some more money. I can't even do it. Trying to get the transfer budget higher, which they've agreed to. They've upped it to 16 million. Yeah, it's not the best, is it? But it's not the best, but it is something. If we can sell Eze in January and then bring in a couple more players just to boof up the squad, you know. We don't have that many players going away for the World Cup either, so that's pretty good. We've got two games in hand of most of one one game, two games. So we win this game in hand. 2021-22, we'll go sixth into this World Cup break thing. So that's decent. 
piece against Villa, as against City. We were on fire in a minute. We'll go back to our normal, uh, our normal squads. Tony has to start because he's the only fit striker, really. Let's go with that team, let's go with that team and hopefully you can get us to win against City before the World Cup happens. Before the World Cup happens. I never know you. Yes, I do. I'll never see you today, I know. Flowers are blooming, the water is clear. Shining above me, the sun is clear. You are the beautiful angel in my life. You're beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. Beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. Interesting story, guy. The guy that just scored against me, I had a deal to sign him, all done. But we couldn't afford it because we didn't have enough money and I couldn't generate it for the Eze sale which if I have sold him I could have got him in um, so we had to let the deal go and then as soon as we backed out the deal because we couldn't afford him fucking City went and got him didn't they and of course he's come back to score against or he's played against us and scored City you can all stop jumping around celebrating and it's been given off sight you know it's not gonna count just need to up it in the second half, lads. Up it in the second half, lads, you dirty slags. Oh, what have you let this geezer get in for? Go on, Grealish, really play the ball over the top. Tony around it. Oh. need to sit down and go again go again once we get some players back from their injuries after the World Cup we go again and we push on we're in the next round of the Champions League um, so yeah we just go again so keep it respectable lads okay no three four nils what the fuck's happened here what the fuck does he give a penalty for what the fuck does he give a penalty for, man? <laughs> he give a penalty? What for? Fucking hell, man. Fuck off the boiler. Come on. 
want a whistle to go, man. Do you want the whistle to go? Look at Grealish. He's an absolute dog. See, Grealish can have these sort of games where he just plays absolute pony. Oh, why have you done that? But yeah, there you go. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. You've seen a bit of it. I thought instead of just playing it and, and on my own, I'll do a little stream. Um, if you catch it on the net uh, afterwards, you can catch it afterwards. That's great. But as you can see, we're ninth in the league in a minute. There's a game in hand of Leicester uh, just above us, so we can go up with them with a win. Um, as you know, we're in the Champions League. We're still in the Carabao Cup. Got Arsenal away in the next in the quarterfinals, um, and yeah, if we get past them, really, there's no real big teams in there. We've already beat Chelsea this season, so if we can beat Arsenal, we could be in there for a cup. That could be decent. Um, and yeah, Champions League. You look at that. Look at that group. Absolutely smashed it, lad. So yeah, we're doing decent. We're doing well. Uh, I'm really happy. And yeah, Villa have put their faith for me, and I've done well to get them where we are it's not over yet long way to go but yeah guys maybe i'll do another stream if i keep playing it we never know but we'll see thank you for tuning into the stream and if you are watching it on the replay thank you for watching it smash the like button make sure you comment so i can see your comments and also subscribe i want to get 100 by the end of the year so let me help help me with that target help me smash that target so make sure you subscribe thank you for watching guys i'm leaving the stream now peace